This is the thermal performance of the Maestro Senko Cycle HMX unit. It's a single Colorado HMX unit operating under simulated desert conditions. Here at Oakland University in Michigan, we have a space heater producing in excess of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 120 degrees into the inlet fan. And we have around 102 degrees Fahrenheit inlet to the HMX and that drops down the relative humidity to about 17 percent. And you can see the hot dryish air comes in the HMX and this is the side exhaust port. So the humidification is happening perpendicular to the process air comes out the top. So the exhaust humid air in the 80s at relatively high humidity 97%. But the cooling air, the cooled, excuse me, the cooled process air is coming out at an average of 68 degrees. You see the center of the unit is much cooler. So there's a temperature distribution across the process air exit on both sides. That temperature right now is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have about a 30 degree Fahrenheit temperature drop across this unit in desert conditions. Adding a desiccant to the inlet would allow for a drying process that could allow this thing to be used anywhere in the world. Of course, you need energy to regenerate the desiccant, and that can be done with solar or waste heat or CHP cogeneration um, exhaust waste heat from a home cogeneration unit, perhaps, or just a water heater. A hot water heater could provide the thermal energy to regenerate your desiccant.